Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today's session is uh, how to make a dynamic block for vent pipes and pipes. So this is a simple exercise. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Uh, it's related to AutoCAD and Revit. So we'll start uh, doing like that. So we have some five five fittings over here, so like this. So I, I choose this one, the same method we will apply on all other uh, blocks, okay so this is like exploded things okay this is just a five five fittings okay so we will uh, create a block first block name i'm just giving pipe fittings okay so you can give as per your um, standards names and everything so i am just for the exercise i'm just giving pipe fitting and selecting pick point over here and selecting a block completely i'm selecting this block and enter it so that will appear here and click ok so it is automatically open through this uh, block editor uh, you can get this parameter um, appear here from the uh, this one so first we need to set some parameter and go to parameter from here and uh, taking the dimension from here to here one distance okay and another one same thing i'm choosing from here to here the distance two and here also i'm choosing from here to here the distance is so this is the pipe part okay this selection part is the pipe part okay so from the fittings we need to stretch the pipes okay so the next step is we need to give us some actions okay we just give stretch command and we will choose uh, this dime parameter first and selecting this point and drag on first corner to here like this okay and select the area which we need to stretch it okay so i select like this and enter it and same procedure here also stretch command and selecting this one and i am choosing um at this point and uh, i will drag like this okay and i am stretching this part this whole part okay and enter it and same thing here also stretch command and select this one and picking this point and dragging like this and i'm um, selecting this part enter it and we'll just simply closing this one save the changes fittings and just select this first so it will work like this okay so easily you can draw the um, pipes over here without any like uh, lines and everything so simply you can make and you can uh, place all the things over here so if you need some uh, dynamic blocks please um, comment on my youtube channel and su subscribe it so this is a very simple command uh, for the um, pipe fittings okay so you can you can see here it, it was works also so same things for other 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 fittings also so for example this one okay so i'm just matching with this one uh, one color like this okay i will choose this one same color here okay so this is one uh, one elbow like a, a bend point okay so this is our uh, uh, what is called this is our pipe part okay so i will just uh, draw one center line over here so you can choose the layer like a proper uh, proper layer you can choose from here okay so that was uh, depends upon you which layer you need okay i will choose as a by layer okay so in the center part if you need some other color okay so also you can give another color here and you can create some other uh, layer also and i'm typing this one um and giving some name fittings something like that okay as per your standard you can give the uh, name and i am choosing the center part of this block and okay and selecting the block all block okay and uh, I, if you need some uh, descriptions you can give some fittings like pumping something like that you can give the descriptions okay it will come under the block editor and give the parameter first parameter from the linear okay same method you can implement this same command over any blocks any any fittings something like you can create the um, parameters like 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 a dynamic block okay so then you need to give the actions and stretch command and select this one okay one point and then uh, oh sorry this point and sorry and first of all the stretch this one and select uh, dynamic block um, parameter and click here and then select drag like this and select which part you need to um, 
uh, stretch it okay so we will select like this and same thing apply on here select first the parameter and pick one point okay this point and uh, drag like this okay and then you select which part you need to stretch okay then close it save the save this one so it is also working like this okay so if you if, if you need this fittings over there in the um, like uh, this part you need okay so, so some bends you need okay so you can fix here and you can uh, drag from here the things okay so i think this is uh, very helpful for you and even even this this all all blocks you can uh, even <clears throat> you can do the same things this is uh, like something like uh, up and down blocks also so hopefully you guys are enjoying my video please subscribe my channel it's related to AutoCAD and Revit. Thanks for watching. Thank you.